Hi everyone. This is Ethan, and I will be the moderator today for today's CR webinar. Firstly, I would like to, to thank you all for attending our event and be so supportive under the circumstances of the pandemic. And then I have to say that it's an honor to invite the Colin Xu, the Overseas Marketing Director of the GW Laser Technology, to deliver this presentation about the new ecology of laser industry, the, the air code. 976 laser solutions and uh, this presentation is about 25 minutes and then we will move on to the q a sections which is about five minutes so please feel free to submit your question down below without further ado please welcome the calling to deal to deliver this presentation uh, everyone can see uh, my uh, screen right so uh, now uh, let me introduce our uh, new ecologic of laser industry. Uh, it's basically on the air coded 976 laser solution. <clears throat> okay, so uh, now I'm just uh, introduced the four contents uh, about the, our the market, our air coding technology, and also the integration uh, solution, and also the branding. So first is the market prospect. <clears throat> from the chart, you can see um, we start from the 2018. It's uh, it's just a little bit a uh, market over there about the uh, for the laser welders, and now uh, with the times going uh, up and uh, the market is very fast growing. And uh, also last year is about uh, already uh, over than 30,000 pieces, these welders sold in the market. And uh, I'm, uh, we, we uh, analyzed the market that also start from last year, the main players about the IPG, uh, our GW laser and also uh, Rus laser, uh, and also to start from this year, the Max Photonics, there are, they are also uh, launched their own laser welder products. <clears throat> and we sure we think the market for in the future for the laser welder is going very uh, huge. And this is the second biggest market for the laser products, uh, except for the laser cutting application industry. And this chart is going to show you the traditional uh, traditional art welding machines like the TIG weld, uh, TIG weld and uh, the MIG, MIG weld, also the stick welders. Uh, from the chart, you can see start from the 2015 as goes fast until 2019. It's <clears throat> then it's dropped very fast and. This period is just uh, uh, our, the laser welders going up. So you, uh, and the, also the traditional arts welding products is more than um, one, uh, 10 million units per uh, in, the, in, in the market. So this is a huge uh, market well replaced by the laser welders in the future. Okay, uh, the second is about the air cooling uh, technologies compared to the water cooling technology. So, uh, so about the air cooling technology, we compare to the traditional, uh, the first generation, the water, water chiller, air, uh, water chiller cooling, uh, these welders. So you can see the left, uh, the left side is uh, very big. With a, with a huge uh, water chiller inside, and it's, uh, it's big. Also with the water inside, that means in the summer season, it's get a higher temperature. That means it will get the condensation inside. Also, another, another size, the water will uh, goes into the handheld torch, which is will add the weight of the holder. So you, you, for the operator, it's not easy to hold the handheld torch for a longer time. 
especially for the 1G about uh, eight, six hours, eight hours, um, it's, it's, it's very heavy. Uh, but for the, you can see the right, our GW laser, uh, GW laser, the welder is air coated. The whole weight is only 60 kilogram and it's lighter and also is cooling inside of the handheld torch. That means it's, uh, uh, it's lighter and easy to hold for a longer time. Uh, the operators will not waste too much energy for that. <clears throat> and also it also gets the faster uh, efficiency of the welding. So now we just uh, uh, to deeply to uh, analyze the different uh, water cooling and uh, air cooling technologies. For the water cooling, it will see from the heat from the laser goes to the water and the water goes to the, uh, the heat from the water goes to the compressor and uh, back uh, and uh, with, with the fans to uh, get out from, from the system. Um, but for the air cooling technologies, you can see uh, our our technology is com combined the compressor and the laser modules together in a cabinet. So uh, do, uh, there's directly from the heat goes to the compressor and get out uh, through the fan. That means it will reduce the uh, thermal trans 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 transportation and it will uh, Gets a higher uh, if it, uh, exhaust uh, heat efficiency. <laughs> so this is about the solutions for the uh, air cooling side. You can see uh, the left side of the picture. <clears throat> we have the, this is our a circle <clears throat> back and forth with the heat transferred from the laser and to the to the uh, condenser and then to the expansion valve. This is uh, like a circle to observe, observe the heat and uh, get uh, get out. Also, me <clears throat> for the with the higher temperature and the lower temperature, that can automatically to adjust the temperature inside. It's, uh, it's our own uh, patents for for our GW laser technology. And uh, also, this is the rust rust laser. Uh, their uh, heat uh, thermal precipitation uh, technology. This directly uses the fan to uh, exhaust uh, to take out the, the heat from the system. Uh, so, but this is uh, another uh, how to say a disadvantage. Like uh, if the environment temperature is uh, is higher. Is much higher, like the summer season, probably it gets uh, overheat inside because the fans only cannot uh, enough to uh, get the heat out. So probably it's gonna get some uh, higher temperature force or errors. Uh, but so for most of the time, it's okay. Uh, <clears throat> it can be used. And also this is the IPGs, uh, some, some, uh, some uh, companies the the analyze the IPGs inside and share the the technology <clears throat> the technologies to us, so we can see from the uh, right side of the pictures it they has the uh, they has the liquids inside to get the uh, get the heat goes through the the kind of sensor and then through the fans come out. So, but it's, it is also better than the fan, fan uh, cooling, but uh, also uh, it's not uh, good as our compressor technology. Uh, so, they are, so this is the, the IPG's technology. <clears throat> and also you can see that we have the different uh, heat dissipation like the passive heat dissipation and like IPGs and rust, but our GW technology is active heat dissipation. That's the, it can be adjusted by cooling and heating. And also it's can, the maximum heat dissipation is higher 
uh, which will be to support like uh, 2000 or 3000 watts. But for IPGs and analysis, they are just like 1000 at 1500 watts. That's gonna <clears throat> not too great more power for that. <clears throat> so uh, the third, third is about the integration. Uh, our technology is uh, compared to the traditional, the first generation of the water, uh, water coating uh, or laser welder is for the some OEMs like the uh, the companies they are doing the uh, laser marking, laser carting machines. They you they purchase the the parts, they assemble them together. Uh, you they purchase the handheld torch and the, the control system and the, the fiber laser source and also the chiller. Though they combine them together, uh, assemble them together with a, a very big size water cooling laser welder. Uh, this this gonna make the system complex. And some of the problem happened, you don't know how to analyze that which part is, is the problem. But for the air cooling, uh, our air cooling integration welder system is is combined with our own compression, our own design compressor, and the welding system, the control system, also the laser the laser module is all designed and made by GW's technology. That means it's, uh, it's the system has the automatic analyzed problem itself. It can uh, what whatever is the problem happened is shows the force and to analyze where we can uh, fix and to check and maintenance. So it's gonna be smart. And then the traditional uh, laser well, uh, water, water cooling laser welder. <clears throat> so this is like the OEMs and also compare with the integration. For the OEMs, they, they only do some like the laser carting and the laser marking machines. They purchase the many parts from the supply chain and then get the uh, assembly them together. But the another problem, another problem as I mentioned, is the after sales service. Uh, for them, they say they can sell them a very low price. But for the after service, they cannot bear with the several times service cost and. They also, if the torch has a problem, if the water chiller has the problem and the laser source has the problem, they will uh, call the different suppliers to fix them. But they don't, also usually it's not easy to find out where exactly the problem is. But for the our laser, uh, laser welders, uh, they, come, they integration them together. So all designed and made and the parts from our GW laser technology, that means even each part has the problem. We our service will uh, in the first place to find out where to 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 check and to test to maintenance to fix. So it's faster than the uh, than the water trailer uh, cooling laser welders. <clears throat> also, the branding, as as we know, the OEMs. They just to take uh, their brands, but the the torch uh, maybe from from the SUP from the W uh, WSSX from other suppliers and the chiller from Tongfei or Hanley or uh, TNX some TS something like that. So they they just you tamp their label on it and uh, they they how, how to see not guarantee the the whole the whole well units the, uh, the the warranty the quality mm. so but for our laser welder uh, we use our this is designed by our DW laser technology all things uh, we was innovation by our team so each part we have the patents and also can guarantee the quality and the stability uh, so that's why the air uh, the air 
the air cooling uh, air cooling fiber la laser welders as well have the uh, different applications like uh, uh, they can do the uh, how to say they replace the traditional R TIG and MIG welders and uh, also replace the, the traditional applications and the, the main advantage is uh, the efficiency is faster than the TIG and MIG it's about two to five times faster than the TIG or MIG it also can do in the uh, marking welding cutting cleaning functions so it's, a, it's kind of multi-function uh, laser products for that so this is the like the uh, our our parts inside for the laser welders it's uh, used by the uh, laser module and the compressor and the torch and also the uh, uh, the control system. So they combine it together with the uh, small units. So our, our especially advantage is about our uh, 976 nanometer pump technology because the, uh, the electrical optical um, efficiency, compressing efficiency is up to 42%. That means it will save the energy and the lower power consumption. Uh, it's very a lot like the water chiller is uh, like a double size, uh, double uh, power consumption than than that. Uh, okay, this is the our the portable handheld laser welder uh, introduction. So uh, you can see we also we have the advantages about the. Uh, programs, database welding integrations into our uh, system. We have the 25, uh, we have 20, uh, 20 programs for the user uh, customized uh, to can change the parameters inside. Also, we have uh, integrated uh, 55 programs uh, preset pre inside. It can welding the uh, minor steel, stainless steel, aluminum, and brass. Uh, so it can uh, easily to uh, use the programs when you uh, welding the different materials. <clears throat> so air, uh, here is the, our air coating the laser source technology, some of uh, shares for you. Uh, this is, first one is also about the ABR technology. As you know, when you uh, use the use uh, to welding the high reflective materials, it's gonna not easy to weld deeply. And this uh, our air ABR technologies is can easy to cut or welding the high reflective materials like the uh, aluminum, uh, even the brass and, and the copper. So it's uh, it's our own design. And also, you you know the efficiency is up to the fourteen two uh, percent. It's going to see with the uh, electrical uh, consumption, and also its size is only in the six kilograms. It's also transferred by the car, or you some uh, only one person maybe can hold it uh, to somewhere else. And also, there's a low power. It's used the single phase input, and it's very simple. It's integrated together, and the flex flexible. It means it can use the laser welder to cut, uh, welding, and cleaning without to change many uh, different uh, parts. Also, we have the triple safety protection, like uh, use the e-stop and a key switch and the uh, clamps in interlock by the by the torch also we have the uh, five like five pro, uh, different uh, mode operations we have the pose and the cw pwm and timing mode it can uh, use different uh, precision welding programs uh, okay that's all thank you everyone Uh, and oh, also, yeah. if you, yeah, if uh, anyone has the questions, uh, as welcome to ask.
So I'm uh, glad to answer that. Sure, sure, no problem. And uh, let me take back the, the screen real quick. Please hold on, call. yeah. We're going to do that. So yeah, the next is our Q&A section. And uh, thank you very, first of all, thank you very much for your insights, Colin. And uh, I try to check the check the backstage and here's the here's a few questions. And uh, let me ask you the first one, okay? So what is the market size of the laser welder is actually? Yeah, actually, as you can see, the, the first page, as I showed you, uh, the, the growth of the laser welders start from the 2015 until even, yeah, even until now is about just uh, five, or, uh, uh, five or six years, it goes very fast. So okay. from the market analyzing that the size is around uh, until now is about 500 million US dollars. And also it gets uh, like 6% uh, increased uh, per year right now. Yeah, okay, I got it. And uh, about the uh, second question, and uh, uh, you did mention about what the laser world can do and what exactly, to, what exactly uh, should we understand this? So, so it can cleaning or it can, it can welding uh, yeah. or what, what is the, what does it yes, do? Yes, yes. Uh, as you know, some, some, uh, some of them maybe already used or seen that the, the laser welders do the, do the welding. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the basic functions. Mm -hmm. And also for the, uh, as I said, for the cutting and the cleaning, the yeah. cutting we have the, a special designed uh, cutting nozzle it's mm -hmm. only to replace the nozzle. Uh, it's uh, to adjust some parameters in the system. It can uh -huh. use like the handheld cutter. Uh -huh. uh, so that means it can cut the uh, thin mat uh, material sheet like uh, three millimeter and less. So okay. it's, uh, yeah, sometimes another, another function is the cleaning. Cleaning, there's two functions. Uh, one is you can use the uh, another nozzle to use uh, is only to use the wobbling wobbling functions. It's the kind of cleaning the weld you welding, and uh, if it gets the color changed and uh, some uh, not uh, first around the weld, so you can uh -huh. use the clean functions to to get its beauty and better. So uh -huh, another. Yeah. Yeah, another function you, you only use the cleaning, it will replace the handheld cleaning head. So uh -huh. it will uh, become like the 50, 50 millimeter, uh, centimeter lens, mm -hmm. uh, which it can uh, clean you uh, a, a big size. Of uh -huh, the, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's can, you know, we have some videos so you can uh, visit our website. Yeah. Sure, sure, no problem. Yeah, and uh, here's the uh, here's the next next question for you. Okay, so what type of the gas when we're trying to um, when we mentioned about the air cool technology, right? Where yes, should we yes. use the carbon dioxide or maybe something like that? Uh, yeah, uh, as I said, uh, the air cooling uh, is is means also the protective gases. Mm -hmm. uh, is is the exactly the same as the traditional art welding uh, used like the CO2, CO2 gas and uh -huh. also the nitrogen gas, uh -huh. but it's, it should be pure and clean and dry. Uh -huh, yeah, uh, because, sure. yeah, and also the argon gas, uh, because it's, uh, it's used the, the welding, it's needed to protect the, the materials and yeah. also the, the welding uh, programs. Then yeah, also, sure. uh, yeah, also because the air cooling technology uh, we use the gas and it goes through the handheld torch. That mm -hmm. means the torch, there's no need to use water coatings. And uh, it's a mean is coating the torch. And uh, at the same time, it's also protect the, the welding program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Thank you. And uh, so we're running a little bit late. So I, I, I will just ask you the final question, okay? okay so okay. Uh, when we're trying to use the, the, uh, the uh, laser welder, should we wear some, some, some protective gear, yeah. maybe like the goggle or maybe like yes, the uh, helmet? Yes. yes, definitely, definitely. Because the laser, the laser you know, is uh, like, we, we cannot see it, it's visible. So mm -hmm. 
uh, and also the fiber laser is like the light class four level. That uh -huh, means yeah. it's the very dangerous for the human uh, human eyes. So uh -huh, that's why yeah. we suggest that every operators, even the visitors close to the uh, laser uh, devices, need to uh, wear the goggles and uh -huh. use. And also, it has the OD more than OD seven, at least the OD seven plus the 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 grid to protect your eyes. You mean oh, so the, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, you it's, mean the helmet. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like the uh, protector level, right? It's the uh, yes. some grade. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Protect sure, no level OD, OD7 at least. Sure, sure no problem. Mm -hmm. well, okay, so thank you for sharing your sharing these uh, opinions or maybe the, the insight to us, okay? So, and no uh, that's all for our Q&A section and uh, and for all for our audience. I, 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 I would like to... to uh, thank you very much for participating in today's webinar, and I hope you have all the information you need and uh, and for and for this laser technology and industry. And a kind of reminder that the, the 24th the China International Optoelectronic Exhibition will be held in September 7th tonight at the Shenzhen World Exhibition Convention Center. And you can easily register for CRE for, for CRE 20, 2022 by scanning a QR code and fill out their information. And I hope we can have you all to extraordinary extraordinary event this year. And take care. And uh, see and uh, see you next time. Goodbye. And uh, bye bye. And uh, yeah, thank you for thank you for calling. Thank and you. Uh, yeah, take care. Goodbye. Thank you, having me. Yeah, bye bye, everyone. Bye bye.